あうん。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。So look, I am.、Um, I am not going to be here for the summer. Yeah. Like, I can't pay the rent. And, uh, and Niall's going to sublet the room, so. I'll have to move out. When? Uh, pretty soon next week, maybe. So you'll be going back to Sligo then? Like me, n a n I guess. I guess you want to see other people or.、Uh... I guess so. So, I guess we should see other people. I guess so. Thank、you
You didn't tell me you were in town? Yeah. Look, I thought your text when you were home feels a bit weird when I'm into it, no warning or warning. anything. Warning. You know what I mean. I'm just back for the weekend. It's my father's anniversary mass. I'm sorry. Can I come? Obviously, if you don't want me to, I won't, but I'd like to. Sorry. No. Okay. You're with Jamie and Ellie here. He always liked you. What about you? Are you seeing anyone? No. Not at the minute. Embracing the single lifestyle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know me. I did once. Look, if you don't want to be friends, that's fine. I'd just rather know so we can... Of course, I want to be friends. Okay. Do you want to come in? For like a tea or? I can't, I've got shopping in the back. Thanks for the lift. Length of days is not what makes age honourable, nor number of years the true measure of life. Understanding. This is man's grey hairs. Untarnished life. This is ripe old age. He has sought to please God, so God has loved him. As he was living among sinners, he has been taken up. He has been carried off so that evil may not warp his understanding or treachery seduce his soul. For the fascination of evil throws good things into the shade. Didn't need to run. Ah, uh, my bus got caught in traffic. Some protest. Got your coffee. Ah, uh, thanks. How are you feeling about skulls? How are you feeling about them, Connell? Hmm. How am I feeling about my entire future being potentially secure or mind-numbingly <laughs> difficult? Yeah, it's uh, casual. How's Jamie? It'd be nice if you guys could actually be civil. Uh, I'm civil. Um, you could just, like, uh, try not to intimidate him quite <laughs> so much. Are you telling him not to intimidate me? As if, Connell. He's barely my height. I'm not sure intimidation is strictly limited well, to height, though. From where he's standing, you're the tall guy who used to fuck his girlfriend. Right. Is that how you describe me to all your friends? The tall guy who fucked you? Pretty sure we fucked each other. 
we had mutual, equally involved kind of sex. It's different with Jamie. What do you mean? Do you want to hear about this? He's into pain. Like, inflating it. Turns out he's a bit of a sadist. <laughs> Are you serious? Just during sex, that is. Not arguments. Your face. You're into that, are you? Yeah. You're so shocked. We really don't have to talk about this. What does he do to you, specifically? Slaps me. He uses a belt. Things like that. Right. It sounds fucking horrible. It's not. It's just different. You've never said any of this to me when we were... What? It was different with you. Things were different. Right. Didn't have to play any games with you. It's just real. And Jamie, I don't know. It's a bit like I'm acting a part. I just pretend to feel a certain way. Like I'm in his power. But with you, I actually had those feelings. I'd have done anything you wanted me to. The English scholars are Marion Picard, David Sexton, Ashling Tobin, Connell Baldwin. Fucking is me. Fucking right, you absolute fucking nerd. Fucking five years free tuition, free accommodation. Five years, you tell me, fucker. Unreal, man. And Mairead Buckle. 
The history and politics scholar is Marianne Sheridan. <laughs> <laughs> Travelling from west to east, literally like crossing a border into a completely different city. It's totally surreal. I mean, I've, I've been, so I, I, I get it. Yeah, because everyone has been to fucking Berlin, Peggy. You're making out like you just got back from Syria. Marianne's not been to Berlin. I'm explaining for her benefit. They don't let people from Connick travel that far. <laughs> Extremely hilarious. Yeah, and Marianne has been to Berlin. Does anyone want more food? Yeah, yeah. it's so good. Do you want it? Looks as... Yeah, I can make like one thing. <laughs> Anyway, should we do a, a fucking toast or something to the cleverest history and politics student Trinity has ever known? You're here. Stop it. Yeah, yeah, don't mind fucking me. <laughs> we won't. Poor Peggy. It's fine, I never studied. <laughs> to Marianne. To Marianne. To Marianne. <laughs> to the cleverest girl in Trinity. Oh, Jesus, stop it, please. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> Eat up. Hello? Oh, hi. <laughs> what? Are you okay? Where are you? I know it's fine. It's uh, it's not as bad as it looks. Thank you. What happened? Uh, just this lad. Asked for my wallet, I should have handed it over, but I said no, and he hit me in the face. I'm fine. Your phone number was the only one I knew off by heart. I'm really sorry. I'm really drunk. How drunk? No, well, I've been out since they announced skulls, so... Right. Mm. Do I still have pupils? <laughs> Just about. They're mm. huge. Mm. They always get like that when I see you anyways. Ah. Mm. Mm. You must be drunk. What do you mean? Jamie's downstairs. Oh. Yeah, maybe I'll just go back out and get punched in the face if it really wasn't that oh. bad. <laughs> Fucking low life scum. Huh? Fucking low life scum. <laughs> well, that's quite the welcome, Jamie. <laughs> you know, uh, can't uh, can't all be the spawn of millionaires. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I was talking about the dickhead who robs you to buy drugs. Obviously. Drugs. Yeah. Well, he's hardly using your cash to buy loaves of bread for his kids. Be up his nose or in a needle, boy. Looks pretty bad, Connell. You okay? It's not as bad as it looks. Okay, I mean, will we get going, or...? You're such a sweetheart, Peggy. He just said he was fine. I am. Thanks. I'll join you in a bit. Get this one cleaned up first. Well, they stop letting in at 12. Well, I'm pretty tired anyways. You go. Bye you tomorrow. Nice. If you're sure. Okay. Thanks for doing it, mate. Thanks, Marianne. Thank you. It was delicious. <laughs> and congratulations again. Marianne. You too, Connell. Oh. Yeah, congrats, Connell. Thanks. Hi. <laughs> Come on, you guys. Connell? Jamie?
you could have a different boyfriend, you know? I mean, guys are consistently falling in love with you from what I hear. Stop that. T? People love you or hate you. Right. You don't hate me. No. No, I'm immune to you. Because I knew you before. In school. When I was ugly and pathetic. No. You're never ugly or pathetic. I'd rather literally anyone else, Marianne. I'd rather the lad that mugged me was your boyfriend. Why do you care? Do you love him? We don't talk about that, do we? Thought that stuff was off limits for us. All right, okay. You know, I probably should have mentioned this before, but I've been seeing someone. Been with her a while. Yeah. I should have mentioned it before, but then again, I feel like we've hardly seen each other. Barely spent any time together. And, uh, yeah, her name's Helen Brophy. I don't know what you know her. She studies medicine. Why were you trying to get me to break up with Jamie? No, I'm not. I'm not. I just want you to be happy is all. Because you're such a good friend, is it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I think I... Uh... <laughs> Jesus. Maria, I feel awful. I'm sorry, I should have said it before. I don't want to talk to you, Con. I'll just leave. <laughs> Please, can you just go? Yeah. Look, I'm uh, really sorry to have to ask. It's just I, uh, I can't get home. Uh, uh, would I be able to borrow the money, like you said? Oh God. Sorry. Managed to forget you've been beaten up somehow. I. Yep. You know, uh, I don't know what happened with us last summer. Uh, like when I had to go home and that. See, I, I kind of hoped that I would have been able to stay here. That you would have let me. Yeah, I, I just, uh, I don't really know what happened between us, to be honest. Said you wanted to see other people. Oh. I thought you were breaking up with me. You never said anything about wanting to stay here. I. That would have been. Always. Obviously. Uh, right, well, I, I should go. I'm, uh, have a good night, Marianne.
say I'm